Hey everyone, this is Nemo with NemoPS.com and welcome to another awesome PrestaShop tutorial. So in today's quick tip, we will see how we can add a filter by manufacturer functionality to the back office catalog in PrestaShop. And as always, remember the best practice would be to use overrides, though to keep things quick, I will simply amend the core file. And the one we are interested in this time is admin products controller.php, which you can find in controllers admin. And it's down here somewhere. Admin products controller. All right, open it up. Now we need to add the column to filter by manufacturer name. But this is an information we do not have by default. So we need to retrieve it first. What I need to do is edit the construct method, which is pretty long, this one, and around line 179, where the join is, we have to join the manufacturer table, which is the one that stores the name we need. So I will add, we'll just copy one of these, left join manufacturer, M as alias and we will join manufacturer dot ID manufacturer to we gotta use a for the product table ID manufacturer all right then right below among the selects here I need um, to retrieve the name and since the column holding this name in the manufacturer table is simply called name we need an alias to avoid conflict. So let me just copy this. So I will use M name as manufacturer name. Okay. And then remember to add comma space. This is necessary to avoid uh, MySQL errors. Right. Lastly, the very field. So right below, actually wherever you want, but I will do it in order. So uh, for example, right before the name, I will copy the field and then I will use manufacturer name, title manufacturer, and then we're gonna use M name as filter and I will let it order by that so order by equals true all right we should be done so save and refresh the back office okay great and we have Apple and fashion manufacturer let's see if it works cool and of course if I reset we can also order by. Great. All right, this is everything for today's video. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for more PrestaShop tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.